but the moment you start moving to senior engineering roles apart from your problem solving capabilities it becomes extremely necessary for companies to also judge on your this actually judges on the fact that you are able to segregate and reuse your code properly so when you are writing the code you are expected to think about all of these corner cases one of the most key important metric to judge in this particular type of uh, i would say round is that there are some more interesting patterns like state design pattern using which you can design an atm machine as well hello everyone i'm sanket singh and welcome back to my channel so guys nowadays a lot of companies have actually started conducting machine coding interviews and a lot of students actually get confused with the fact that what happens in a machine coding interview if you see companies including uber amazon flipkart mintra and a lot more companies are there who have actually included machine coding as a dedicated round in their software engineering hiring you can expect definitely that from software engineering to and for more senior roles roles you are definitely going to get this machine coding interview and in a few companies even for sd1 roles you might expect a few machine coding rounds so in this particular video i am going to decipher what is a machine coding round how you should technically prepare for a machine coding round and what kind of a questions you can actually expect i myself gave a lot of machine coding rounds during the last hiring season in the last quarter of the last year and based on all of my experience that i have accumulated i am going to share my opinions with you so without any further ado let's just start but before starting the video if you have not yet subscribed to the channel do consider subscribing to the channel we are going to put some really really awesome content regarding tech on this channel so let's just start so guys before moving forward there is a very important information that i would like to give you so recently we wrapped our elite 1.0 front end development course and now we have launched our elite 2.0 advanced front end development course this is a bigger and a better front end development course that you need this course doesn't need any particular prerequisite and we are going to take you from the very beginner level to the advanced level of front end engineering we have actually included projects like your own repellent clone wix wix website maker clone right uber clone and a lot of similar projects you are going to make your own pop sub library based lld driven projects and we are going to make sure that you learn important front end design patterns as well i'm going to list down all the projects and all the important design patterns here this is the only course that you need if you are aiming for sd1 or sd2 or sd3 kind of roles because we are going to take everything to the very advanced level in front end engineering we are going to learn a lot of optimizations and we are going to see technologies like next js redux zstand typescript react and of course the latest version of react this particular course is going to make sure that you have ample amount of projects that you can add in your resume we are going to make approximately 20 plus projects with different variety of complexities engineering problems and of course there will be a lot of discussion around the core concepts of front end so what are you waiting for check out the course link in the description below and you can use the coupon code mentioned in the description section to get maximum discount possible see you guys in the cohort and let's get back to the video So see guys most of the time for a software engineering hiring the most crucial element to judge is the problem solving capabilities for sd1 roles this can be easily judged using data structures and algorithmic questions but the moment you start moving to senior engineering roles apart from your problem solving capabilities it becomes extremely necessary for companies to also judge on your code maintenance and code writing excellence altogether and that's where machine coding interview comes into the picture this interview helps the companies to actually judge you on your problem solving skills plus your dev skills as well so let me tell you what happens in a machine coding interview generally a machine coding round is a 60 minute to 90 minute round right so you can expect some companies to take it as a 60 minute round or some companies might take it as a 90 minute round. in these 60 to 90 minutes based on what profile you are interviewing for depending on front end back end full stack doesn't matter what profile you are interviewing for you will be expected to actually code a very small application this application can be a simple rating system this application can be a simple hospital appointment management system this can be a simple learning management system and what right in these kind of problem statements you are generally not expected to actually have any kind of a database interaction any kind of a network interaction right you are not expected to actually work on a lot of the ui part and your core focus always goes on the business logic part if you see with respect to the web uh, infrastructure and web architecture then i can say that you have to solely focus on the service layer where you implement the business logic companies are going to judge you with the fact that what are the different set of classes functions what kind of modules you are preparing to 
keep the code as clean and as maintainable as possible. This actually judges on the fact that you are able to segregate and reuse your code properly. This judges that whether you have right amount of skills around object oriented programming, solid principles, low level design or not. And apart from that, it also helps them to judge your problem solving skills because you have to make an end to end application altogether. For example, let's take an example of a hospital appointment system. Now in this hospital appointment system, every doctor might be having slots on which a, 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 I would say a patient can actually book an appointment. So two patients should not be allowed to book the same slot. If one slot is already booked, that should not be displayed for the available slots. If a doctor cancels the appointment or the patient cancels the appointment, then that slot should become again available. So you can see there can be different different scenarios in which these situations can actually occur. So when you are writing the code, you are expected to think about all of these corner cases as well as ensure that you write as clean code as possible. That's what a machine coding round is. As I mentioned, in these machine coding rounds, you are expected to code an app end to end. One of the most key important metric to judge in this particular type of app, uh, I would say rounds is that the application that you are going to code should be in a runnable state. That means people can actually interact with that application maybe just through a console because most of the time you are not expected to make any UI or network interaction or any APIs. You are just expected to write the service layer so people can just use command line to actually interact with the app and see whether it is following all the corner cases or not. Now, in order to prepare for this, I would highly recommend you guys to check out a lot of lead code articles that are already present on different different companies machine coding rounds. In these lead code articles, you will find the right expectation of what kind of a problem statement was actually given to the students, what was expected in 60 minutes or 90 minutes, and then you can choose any language of your choice. You can choose C++, Java, C Sharp, JavaScript, TypeScript, Python, anything, and try to code that application. Because 99% of the time, even in the interviews, you will not be having any language constraint until or unless it's a front end machine coding round where the right expectation is set on JavaScript or TypeScript generally. But if it's a general software engineering back end or a full stack machine coding round, then you can use any language of your choice without any particular sense of issue. And then you should try to actually make the same application with the set of expectation in 60 to 90 minutes, whatever is the allocated time for the companies. And before that, I would highly recommend you guys to learn the concepts of object oriented programming. Think and understand what is polymorphism, what is inheritance, what are the cases where inheritance is not the right way to go for, what is composition, how all of these things club together in a particular application. Read about solid principles. Think about how you can apply single responsibility, how you can apply open close principle, what is open close principle, list of substitution and all the solid principles that are present. And then based on these solid principles, try to learn about some of the LND design patterns. Think about how you can learn about strategy pattern, builder pattern. What are the cases where these patterns are included? There are some more interesting patterns like state design pattern using which you can design an ATM machine as well. And interestingly, I have a video on my channel where I have actually talked about how you can actually design an ATM machine using the low level design pattern of state design. So there are different different design patterns. You can refer any, uh, I would say LLD design pattern book, or maybe you can refer to some YouTube articles or some courses to learn these design patterns. But the main thing that you have to ensure is that you don't just understand what the design pattern is and instead understand why do you need this design pattern. 99% of the time, you don't need to rote learn any design pattern in your head. Every design pattern eventually is converted from a solid principle not being followed and you have to devise the strategy so that solid principles are being followed. So this is how you should technically practice. And if you have a front end machine coding now, then you have to also make sure that your JavaScript skills are at par because a lot of front end machine coding, uh, I would say questions are going to be very closely related to the implementation specific to JavaScript. This is something that you should, you should keep in mind. And if you have done all of this, then I would highly recommend you guys to try to give some mock interviews to maybe your friends so that you can actually see whatever you have learned, whatever you have practiced, are you able to actually put that in the right place in those 60 to 90 minutes or not. Now, before I close, I would like to give you some really important tips. The first thing that you have to keep in mind is that machine coding rounds are a very good way to actually judge your problem solving capabilities as well. It's not just the fact that you have to learn the design patterns and apply in an application. If your application is not in a working state, if your application is giving wrong outputs yet, like you have designed everything properly, the classes and everything is right, but you have not written the right logic, the final core business logic is wrong, then you will be definitely rejected. Apart from that, 
a lot of companies will expect you to write this particular app in 60 to 90 minutes and post that there can be a 15 to 30 minute discussion round where people will expect you to answer why you have put a class in a certain way why you have put a particular set of properties in a certain way why is there an interface why there is not an interface why you went for composition why you didn't go for inheritance these kind of questions can actually come up right sometimes what will happen is people will just give you an open-ended question that let's say you have to give do a machine coding of something like bookmash now you have to yourself think that what are the key principles of bookmash what can be the problems that come in bookmash right for example bookmash is a booking system so in that case there can be some concurrency related problems that maybe two or more than two people are trying to book the same seat so in that case in a low level machine coding design round you might be expected to solve problems around parallelism and concurrency as well so these are some of the more important things that you should also take care about and you will get all of this exposure if you will try to practice more and more questions right this is not some standard algorithm that you can just learn and go and get started with that no you have to make the app you have to structure the app yourself you have to practice it because you won't be able to remember all of this in an interview your practice and your understanding of design patterns and your understanding of core algorithms is going to actually help you here so that was it for this particular video guys i hope you guys enjoyed and understood what is a machine coding now do let me know in the comment section if you have any questions regarding machine coding now and we'll be meeting soon in the next set of videos where i'll be talking about some really more interesting facts and some really interesting talks regarding interview preparation in tech that being said let's wrap this particular video here and we're going to meet soon in the next set of videos till then take care guys bye bye i'm sanket singh signing off